Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add functions together. Um, when you see something like this, where it says f plus g of x, what that means is you're going to take your f of x equation and you're going to add it to your g of x equation, and then you would just combine like terms. You could have where you have a number and you actually have to plug it in, but for these ones, I'm just going to add together the functions, and then we're also going to find the domain. The domain of the answer, the domain of the sum, is going to be the same thing as the intersection of the domain of f and the domain of g. So it's everywhere that it's defined for both f and g. So for this first one, what we have is we are going to find f plus g of x for these two equations, or these two functions. So um, we're going to find f plus g of x which is telling me that we're going to find the f of x equation and add it to our g of x equation. So what we would do is we would just take f of x, which is 2x plus 3, and we would take our g of x equation, which is 3x minus 2, and we're just going to combine any like terms that we can. So for this particular one, I do have like terms that I can add together, so we could say that f plus g of x is going to equal, if I add my like terms, 2x plus 3x gives me 5x, and 3 minus 2 would give me 1. So this would be my final answer. We can't find a value, a numeric value, because this is just coming up with a function so that you have an equation so that you can find other values. For the domain, what you have to do is for the domain, we're going to look at the um, f of x individually. And for this one, because of the fact that it is just a linear equation, there are no restrictions. So the domain of this one is just negative infinity to positive infinity. The domain of this one, same thing. I don't have any restrictions for g of x. So my domain for this one would also be negative infinity to positive infinity. So depending upon whether you're working in interval notation or whether you are working in set notation, you could write your domain in a couple different ways. Um, you could put all real numbers. And the d just represents domain. So all real numbers. Um, you could also use R with an extra line in it. This is the symbol for R, all real numbers. Or if you are working in interval notation, you can say that it's from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, um, let's do one where it's a little bit more challenging as far as both finding the sum and finding the domain of the values. Okay, so for this one, what we're going to look at is we're still doing the same thing. We're still going to find f plus g of x. So this is telling us to find f of x plus the g of x equation. So this time, because we have rational expressions, it is a little bit more complicated. Okay, um, so in order to add these together, we do have to have a common denominator. In this case, our common denominator would be x plus 2 times x minus 4. So our LCD would be x plus 2 times x minus 4. So in order to get this to be that way, what we would have to do is figure out what the first one is missing. So the first one is missing the x minus 4. So I would take the 1 over x plus 2, and I'm going to multiply it by x minus 4 over x minus 4. Essentially, all I'm doing is multiplying by 1, which does not change the expression. For the second one, so if we're looking at the second one, the x over x minus 4, this part right here is missing the x plus 2, so we would multiply this one by x plus 2 over x plus 2. Okay, so for my final answer, remember the denominator stays the same. It's just going to be the x plus 2x minus 4. 
The numerator, I do have to distribute all of these values in. So I would take and plug 1 into both the x and the minus 4. So this would be x minus 4 plus, and if I distribute this x in, I would get x squared plus 2x. So the denominator, we're going to leave the same as x plus 2 x minus 4. Okay, and the top part we're going to combine like terms. So I would have an x squared, x plus 2x gives me 3x, and then the minus 4. So this would be our final sum. f plus g of x is equal to this equation. Okay, as far as the domain goes, the domain, remember, is you have to look at your domain of f. So if we look at f, we know that x cannot be negative 2 because I have a denominator. The denominator can never equal 0. So if I plug negative 2 into here, negative 2 plus 2 would give me 0. For g of x, we know that x cannot equal 4 for the same reason. If I plug this in, um, if I plug 4 into this equation, I would get 0 in the denominator, which is undefined. So f of x is undefined at negative 2, g of x is undefined at 4. So the domain of my answer is going to be x, and if I put this in set notation, x such that x cannot equal negative 2, comma, x cannot equal positive 4. So this would be our set notation. Okay, and for interval notation, what we would do is it's everything from negative infinity up to negative 2. We exclude negative 2, so we put it in a parentheses, or from negative 2 not including it up to positive 4, or from 4 all the way to positive infinity. So if you're working in interval notation, this is how you would write the domain. Remember, the domain are the values that you can plug in and get a legitimate output. If I plug in 2 or if I plug in 4 into this equation or into this um, function right here, I would get 0 in the denominator, which is undefined. So that's why those values are not allowed. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are other topics that you would like me to do, please let me know that as well.